Amy Hoyer is the minority whip, the Democratic whip for the House of Representatives. Mr. Hoyer. Hi. The president said three times he may act without the Congress. I think what the president said, we want to work together. But if you don't work, I'm not going to be immobilized. I'm not going to uh, forget that I've been elected by all the people to do things. And I'm going to do things. I'm going to do things that try to create jobs, grow our economy, invest uh, in the education of our kids and the job training of our workers. I'm going to do things. Uh, and I think that's what the American people expect all of us to do. And his message was, uh, let's do it together. Let's work together to make America better. And I think that's a message the American public uh, are going to respond to and say, yes, that's what I want to, want to do. And they also don't want, if, if the Congress won't help, if the Congress won't participate, for the president to just sit there while the country does not make the progress that the people know it needs. Where do you see common ground between the Democrats and the Republicans in the House? Well, I think common ground in that everybody says they want to grow the economy. For instance, the president said uh, he wanted to see uh, taxes reduced uh, on businesses that were doing and growing jobs here in America and uh, didn't want to advantage those uh, who were taking jobs overseas and wanted to make sure that people could bring uh, profits home. So from that standpoint, I think we can reach common ground there. I think we ought to be able to reach common ground on uh, comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, Seventy percent of the American people thinks that makes sense. The Chamber of Commerce thinks it makes sense. Uh, um, AFL-CIO thinks it makes sense. Farm owners think it makes sense. Farm workers think make it sense. Evangelicals think it makes sense. Certainly, the Congress of the United States ought to agree with the overwhelming majority of the American people and interest groups on each side that it makes sense to do. It grows jobs, grows our economy, uh, and uh, it's the right thing to do from a moral standpoint in any event. So I would hope we could reach common ground. And frankly, Speaker Boehner is uh, uh, taking steps to address immigration. Majority Leader Cantor says the immigration system is broken. So we certainly have a consensus that it needs change. Certainly we ought to be able to reach consensus on how to do that. You've been around here for a while. You've heard a lot of these State of the Union addresses. This is the fifth from this president. Just give us a kind of a running commentary on the State of the Union addresses you've heard. Well, I think most of the addresses I've heard I thought were pretty good. Uh, the president spent a lot, Republican and Democrat. Uh, I've been here, as you know, since Ronald Reagan. So Ronald Reagan, George Bush the first, as I call him, Bill Clinton, uh, George Bush the second, now Barack Obama. Uh, I think most of the speeches I've heard them give in a stadium are good. It, it's interesting that, unfortunately, the parties sort of line up. And uh, if you're a Democrat and it's a Democrat president, that's a good speech. Uh, if you're a Republican and it's a Democratic president, that's not so hot. And Democrats sort of do the same thing with Republican presidents. That's not the key. The key is... How does the public respond? We are, after all, representatives of that public. He's really speaking to them. He's speaking to America. He's speaking to uh, uh, their uh, aspirations and their hopes and, yes, their concerns. And then they will reflect that if we're listening, as representatives have a responsibility to do to their people, if they respond to the president's uh, uh, vision uh, and agenda, uh, then that ought to be reflected in the Congress of the United States. Uh, not perfectly, not absolutely, uh, but that's what presidents are really trying to do with their speeches. Not so much appeal to, appeal to the members. They deal with the members every day. But they want to look the American public in the eye and say, this is where we've come, this is what we need to do, and this is what I want to do working with the Congress and with all of you. Steny Hoyer, Democratic Whip in the House of Representatives. Thanks a lot. Good to see you, Peter.